righty then. Daily break and run. It's a straight pool break and run. You're going to see a lot of straight pool break and runs from me in the coming days. Um, I'm really working on pattern play. Okay, so <clears throat> opening break, I get a shot on the 15. Um, 2 7 is dead in the corner at the moment. Uh, did not much broke out. So I've decided to come up under the rack and shoot this 10. Um, but I have to shoot this hard. I don't want it to stick in the rack. And I end up with this long shot. Um, we're going to take a short break here in this rack. Uh, and I've got something sharp poking me in the ankle. So I've got to get it out of my sock. Uh, so meanwhile, uh, I have I have a problem on the left side with the the two fourteen seven. Um, those do not go. Uh, so I've got to get to those. That's my big problem. Um, the rest of these can be shot without, but I've got to do something about the fourteen two seven. So I'm going to try to to nip into it here. Uh, use some draw to pull back and then spin off the rail to hit it while I've got balls to, to work with. And, well, as you're going to see, this doesn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. I didn't even come close. Um, so now, I've got, the pro I've got this little bunch in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and break that up and hopefully break up the 1472 at the same time. It's kind of a poke and hope shot. Uh, it worked out okay from a shooting perspective, but I've still got the 14.7 down there that I have to break out at some point. So my thought process here is while I'm at, while I'm here at the top of the table, let's just get the top of the table taken care of. Um, you can see I had some indecision there. I uh, made up my mind to go forward uh, so that I could shoot the four. On the 4, I'm just going to come back and forth across the table to leave the 11. And I'm going to try to get an angle where I can hit the 14-7. So, 4 goes in. Cue ball back and forth for the 11. Okay, I'm almost straight in. I've got a little bit of angle. I'm going to hit the bottom rail first. So, I decide I'm going to juice this up. I'm going to try to run into the 14-7. And if I can hit it just right, uh, the cue ball stops there, and I have the 12 ball as my follow-on shot. But it doesn't. I miss it. Um, so now I've got this combination, the 2-12, and that's, I don't, I don't want to touch the 13 yet. I am rapidly running out of balls to deal with the 14-7. I need to deal with it now. Uh, so I've got a little bit of angle on the 13, so I'm going to draw into this breakout. Now, it hits the 14 exactly where you want it to hit. So when you're breaking those out, you don't want to run into the top of the ball. You want to run into the side of one of the balls. And that's exactly what I did. I, I end up with a shot on either the 14 or the 7. I take the 14. Now I'm going to use the 7 to get on the 2. But first I need to see where I need to be. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say, what is the minimum angle I could possibly have and still get a good or a decent break? And you saw me put the tip there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go off the 7. I'm going to stun off the rail. I should not have put right on this. Uh, because I put that little bit of right, it ended up getting me dead straight in on the 2. So now I have to draw for position. I have to draw to at least where my tip was when I figured out the angles. <clears throat> and I get exactly where the tip was. Um... So I've got I've got a break shot here. Uh, this this eight is a break shot. I can stun into the rack. Um, I do not want to follow this. It'll probably follow in the corner. I don't want to draw it. So I'm just going to stun it and take what I get. Hit it hard. Take what I get. So I've got the ten ball here. I've got the six as a safety ball, and I've got the seven fifteen combination as a safety as well. So I'm going to be okay running into this rack. Now here's where I make the mistake that's going to ultimately end the run. I am so fixated <clears throat> on the six ball and not shooting the combination that I rule out the combination. And, and in fact, the 715 is what I should have shot. This was really awkward because of my hand. Now I'm going to get the bridge. As soon as I'm going to get the bridge, I should have been looking around and saying, should I shoot the 715? I didn't. 
Um, I was so committed to this six and rolling up for the five in the side uh, with a little bit of forward roll to get the four and break out the rest of the rack that I just, I didn't even look at it. I was so fixated on that six ball. I had already decided that was my ball and I was fixed on it. So now I've got the five and I'm going to have to shoot this. It's a backward cut into the side, which are never fun. Um, and it's, uh, you're going to have to roll in, roll forward through the gap between the nine and the four to get to get on the three. Well, I do pretty much everything wrong here. I miss the five. I hit the four. I don't have my leave. I mean, I could have made that three, but that ended my run. So there you have it. 17 ball run for today.